Alright, in this video we're going to be talking about some of the heavier rains that are going to be moving into the Midwest and the Northeastern United States. Uh, as we move into the next few weeks, there's going to be an above normal amount of precipitation there. Before I get started with this video, I'd like to mention that I did uh, purchase a new computer. I'm not using it yet. It's it's coming in the mail. It's a, it's a Dell, so I, I bought a $700 computer. I went ahead and made an investment for this YouTube channel. The reason I haven't been uploading a lot is because it's really been irritating to edit videos and just that type of stuff with how laggy my computer's been. So it's really killed a lot of my passion. Uh, but hopefully I'll be back and I, and I travel a lot and these laptops cannot travel because their batteries have like no life and sometimes they don't want to start up or anything. With the new laptop, hopefully I'll be able to travel and upload daily for you guys. So I'm really, really excited and I think my passion has really been sparked once again for weather and just making these videos for you guys. I'm really excited about it now and uh, the new computer should be here in a week or two. So there should be a really big increase in the amount of uploads. Anyway, we're going to get started with this video. First off, we're looking at the CFS V2 accumulated precipitation anomalies here, which is basically is there going to be above normal precipitation or below normal precipitation. Obviously, the green is above normal precipitation. So this is going to be from May 26th today till the 2nd of June. Uh, even beyond that, there should be a little bit of above normal precipitation for the Midwest and the Northeastern United States, but particularly for this time frame, uh, there will be a, an above normal amount of precipitation. Obviously, we have more clarity on what's going to be happening in the kind of shorter range here. We're going to be going over the GFS and some of these, I just want to show single frames of some of these low pressure systems. You can see this is the first one, uh, May 31st. This is one of the bigger, the first bigger systems that looks to come through. There's going to be scattered thunderstorms throughout the areas uh, that we're speaking about in between these storms, but these are kind of the bigger events here. You can see Friday, May 31st, we're looking at a possible heavy rain event there for New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Connecticut as well. A little bit of New Jersey involved there as well. So we do see some above normal precipitation uh, starting to take place there. We're going to move on to another frame, and you can see this is an even bigger event there, particularly for Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. But before this frame, it was in the Midwest, so everywhere uh, in the kind of the forecasted region for this video is going to be involved with this system. Uh, and this is June 2nd that that one's going to be happening, and you can see there's a third one here, particularly for the Midwest, but all, all the areas are... Um, also included this will move into the northeastern United States and bring some precipitation now here's your total precipitation according to the GFS so you can kind of get an idea of how much precipitation is going to be falling but you can see throughout the Midwest there's a lot of those uh, two to six inches of rain there and, and that's a lot for this time frame I mean this is only 384 hours here and, and that's a lot of rain to fall in that time frame so it's going to be noticeable and it's going to be well above normal as far as precipitation is concerned so South Dakota Nebraska Kansas Missouri Iowa Minnesota Wisconsin Michigan Illinois Indiana Kentucky Ohio West Virginia Pennsylvania, Maryland, uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, all those areas are going to get well above normal precipitation as we head into the coming weeks. So through June 11th, at least, we're going to be seeing a lot of precipitation in these areas. And again, you will notice it. So it's going to be very noticeable. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're excited that more videos are in the future and a lot more consistent uploads and also streaming. I really want to get into streaming as far as if your weather is concerned and hurricanes and hopefully even winter storms as we head into the winter. That would be a lot of fun. I'd, I'd I'd totally be willing to skip work as long as um, obviously we have plenty of viewers in the streams. I, I would I would definitely skip some days of work uh, during large events to stream for you guys, and that would be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.